Hello everybody out there and welcome back to the Rubber Mats channel and welcome back to my year 7 series on probability and in this video we're going to be talking about listing outcomes so sometimes you end up in a situation where you have to make some choices that could be like in a restaurant where you have to pick a main and a dessert or a starter and a main and there's so many choices and you've got to work out well you probably i hope you're not going to sit in a restaurant and do this that would not be wise uh, people are going to get cross with you because you'll be there for a while well especially if your probability is not that good anyway let's i digress let's get back into it so we're going to list outcomes so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at a question i made up so here a teacher wants to choose a boy and a girl to put them in the school play and we want to list all the ways that she can choose one boy and one girl from that list so she's got six students there how many ways can she choose a boy and a girl? Now, for that to happen, we need to list all the possible ways that she can choose a boy and a girl. And for that, I will suggest using a systematic approach. OK, now there are two ways I tend to like to do this. So what I will do to list all my outcomes, I will do something like just stick with Andy for now. So Andy is chosen and then the three girls are chosen with him and I've did you notice what I've done there using a b c d e f and so on except I put the f before the e but that's a don't judge me anyway let's go um let's go so anyway we're going to start with Andy so if we choose Andy Andy can go with Darcy or Andy can go with Fran or Andy can go with Erin then once we finish choosing Andy, we can now choose Ben. Ben can go with Darcy, Ben can go with Fran, or Ben can go with Erin. And then again, you choose Charlie, Charlie can go with Darcy, Charlie can go with Fran, or Charlie can go with Erin. And that's what I mean when I say use a system, because I've stuck with Andy, and once I kept Andy, I chose the girls that go with Andy. So you notice Andy is there all the time. Same thing for Ben, same thing for Charlie. And just like that, I've answered this question. How many possible ways can you make that choice? There are nine possible ways you can make that choice there. Now, what if we start having to answer questions like, what is the probability that they have chosen Fran? Well, how many ways have they chosen Fran? Fran is there, Fran is there, and Fran is there. So then we can say that there are three possible ways we can get Fran out of nine possible opportunities to get Fran or not, or your, your desired outcome divided by your total outcome. And so there's a question like that you can answer. And there are many, many more questions that we can answer based on this. But in this video, I just wanted to show you how to list the outcomes. And there it is. And also, just a quick caveat of how can we use that to work out other probabilities. And there we go. For a longer video on this, I've put a link in, coming in the pop-out banner now and on a video I've made called Sample Space Diagrams. Check that out because that one I went into more detail of throwing two dice and so on. It's still listing outcomes, but I've got that in a lovely little table. So check that video out. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this video. It was nice hanging out with you. If you like this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe below. And I'll see you on the next one. For now, though, peace.